for joining me today for Friday's home walk. Uh, for today, the warm up, we're going to start with a 10 minute AMRAP. Uh, the movements that you're going to go through in the 10 minutes are going to be 50 skips. Um, so, if you have a skipping rope, awesome. Just 50 single skips. Um, if you don't have a skipping rope, just feel free to jump on the balls of your feet. Um, once you're done 50 of those, then what you're going to do is you're going to move into uh, five bird dogs. So, a bird dog, just quadruped position on the ground. You're going to alternate lifting opposite hand and foot off the ground, and it'll just look like this. So for that one, make sure that the back's staying nice and level, um, the hips are staying nice and level. If you can't maintain a nice strong core and that flat back while lifting up the arm and leg, um, just reduce that range of motion. Once you've done five per side doing that, you're going to move into five per side of a dead bug. So just lying on your back. And again, just uh, alternating opposite arm and leg uh, going down towards the ground. For that one, make sure that the low back is being pressed into the ground um, and then that you're maintaining that nice solid core the whole way through. Once you've done that, uh, you're just going to do 10 air squats. So cycle through that, um, just in a nice warm up pace in 10 minutes. Um, after you're done that, then kind of the strength building portion for today will be four rounds through, alternating sides as you go, of some uh, nice long tempo work on Romanian deadlifts or RDLs and uh, power rows. So for that Romanian deadlift, uh, it's just gonna be single leg. So with whatever weight you're gonna be using, uh, you're just gonna have it on the side that the leg is going to be moving up. Um, I'll show it to you here. So weight in this hand, you're just going to hinge back on that hip and coming up like that. Uh, tempo was really long today, so really take your time to go down to that bottom position, maintain that nice strong back, and really think about squeezing the glutes on the way up. Um, and then the next movement, just a power row, you're just going to get into that staggered stance. Again, hinge out of the hip as parallel to the ground as possible taking that weight and rolling it up towards the chest and then nice and slow and controlled on the way down um, just with that solid tempo. Uh, so four sets of 12 um, alternating sides each set as you go through. Uh, with the movements, uh, please superset it. So do one set of the remaining deadlifts, one set of the power rows, and then back and forth until you've done four sets um, alternating sides as you go. Once you've done that, then kind of the huff and puff for today is 10 rounds of a 30 second goblet uh, wall sit. Uh, with the wall sit, you want to have a nice 90 degree position uh, with your legs while you're sitting up against the wall. Um, you should have all the muscles under some good tension. That uh, kettlebell or dumbbell, ideally, you just hold it in that goblet position. Um, you can also just rest it on the legs if needed. Uh, once you've done 30 seconds of that, you're just gonna go right into 10 goblet squats so, and holding that dumbbell, kettlebell, whatever weight you may have, nice skull to squat, 10 of those. And then you're going to finish it off with 20 double unders. Um, so if you have a skipping rope, awesome. Um, 20 double unders. Uh, if you don't have doubles yet, I just want uh, about 20 seconds to 30 seconds of skipping, just a practice. Um, if you don't have a rope, then do some penguin hops. So jumping up, hitting your thighs twice at the top of the jump. 10 rounds through that, uh, you can either push it, push that intensity, uh, try to go heavier weight for those goblet squats and wall sit, um, see what you can do. If you're really sore from this week, uh, then just nice and steady pace um, or reduce the volume and uh, maybe go in that five to eight round range. Uh, so lots of options. Um, if you have any questions, please let myself know, let one of the other coaches know. We're always here to help. Have a wonderful day and have fun with this workout.